Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Yasuaki Uwabe was born in Shimonoseki in Yamaguchi Prefecture in Japan. As of the 1st of October 2016, Shimonoseki has a population of 265,884 individuals, making it the largest city in Yamaguchi Prefecture and the fifth largest city in the Chugoku region. In 1989, he graduated from Kyushu University, a national university located in Fukuoka, which is ranked among the top 18 universities in Asia. He graduated in architecture as a first class architect from the Faculty of Engineering. However, throughout his time at university he had a large number of social phobias and was considered to be a loner. Leaving his first job in 1991, he eventually took another job at an architectural firm which he eventually left due to his social phobias. He then started working with another architectural firm but quit once again due to his social anxiety. Marrying in 1993, he opened his own design office, but it ended up closing down in 1997 due to his social phobias. Running out of money, he received a loan to buy a truck and began working in the delivery service industry, becoming increasingly self-isolated before divorcing in June 1999. On the 24th of September 1999, his delivery truck was lost in a flood due to the 1999 Typhoon No. 18. Typhoon No. 18 in the northern Konamoto prefecture caused strong winds and strong surges which lasted 6 days and 3 hours, reaching a maximum wind speed of 140 knots. The typhoon caused a total damage of 161.1 billion Japanese yen, with 31 people killed and 1,211 people injured. Uwabe asked his parents to pay for the loan for his truck, but they refused and he ended up defaulting on the loan. Five days after his truck was lost, on the 29th of September 1999, having taken 120 sleeping pills at around 4.25pm, Uwabe drove a rented car into the east entrance of Shimonoseke Station, driving it past shops and passengers. Shimonoseke Station is a railway station on the Sanyo Main Line operated by the West Japan Railway Company in Shimonoseki, Yamaguchi, Japan, with Sanyo Main Line covering 124 stations in Western Japan, connecting Jobe Station and Moji Station. Driving through the first platform, Uwabe hit at least seven people, two of whom died at the scene. When the car got stuck, he got out of the car, jumped over the ticket gate and progressed up to the second platform on the second floor with a knife where he stabbed seven people before being overpowered by local police. In his attack on the second platform, Uwabe stabbed three people to death and injured a further five individuals, with five people dying in the attack and ten people injured. But why did he do it? Well, Uwabe felt angry as he found it hard to open his own design and architectural office. He blamed society and his parents for his social anxiety, as well as the failure of his architectural firm. After his arrest, he stated, No matter what I did, it never turned out well, which made me bitter towards society. In order to facilitate the maximum death toll, Uwabe used a car as well as a knife to kill people in the attack. Uwabe also noted that he was inspired by another crime that took place three weeks earlier in Ikebukuro, a commercial and entertainment district in Toshima, Tokyo, where a 23-year-old man stabbed two people to death and injured six others. Initially pleading insane, he was judged by the Yamaguchi District Court and was found guilty of all charges and sentenced to death on the 20th of September 2002. In 2004, the District Court ordered him to pay the plaintiffs 160 million Japanese yen, or approximately $150,000. He appealed his sentence to the Hiroshima High Court on the 28th of June 2005, but this was denied. In March 2006, the Hiroshima High Court increased his payment to the plaintiffs to 170 million Japanese yen, or about $160,000 US dollars. 
On the 11th of July 2008, the Supreme Court of Japan upheld his death sentence. On the 27th of March 2012, the Minister of Justice, Toshio Ogawa, signed the Executioner Instruction Manual, sealing his fate. On the 29th of March 2012, he was executed at Hiroshima Prison. He was put to death with 46-year-old Tomayuki Furusawa, who killed his wife's elderly parents and his 12-year-old son in 2002 before abducting and assaulting his wife, as well as 44-year-old Yasutoshi Matsuda, who killed two women in southern Miyazaki Prefecture in 2001. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment? It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.